worth it. Yeah, if only you knew. Good morning, Vietnam. I didn't do anything underhand at, at all. all. It was out in the open. It was out in the open. I know. Better off than this. And I guess I just don't know. And I guess I just don't care. And I guess I just don't know. Sunday morning's dead depressing. How many times have I tried? Yeah. Hiya. What time is it? Do you know? Ten o'clock. It's my life. It's my wife. <coughs> <coughs> well, this is my moment of... Wish that I can relax in the moment. At last. I was born a thousand years ago. The horrible stuff. Sales. It just gets really gets you feeling normal. You're feeling like, like, like you like right, people. Right. You know when you, you know when you're cold and you get a blanket and put it around and you're warm. before you inject, but I like to do it after just to make sure it's all clean, you know, it's like alcohol, you see, just to keep it clean, right, you know, the area where you've injected. What's the last tool you have your next year? Like when you first take it, you'll, you'll have half a bag and you'll toot it like that, and you'll last you 12 hours to this. So you want some more. It's what he's doing now, yeah. It's like the need and affects you straight away. It's like he's having a tooth in the moment, yeah. And to tooth the lot, yeah, you get the full effect. You have to tooth the lot, yeah, to get the full effect. But when you're having a needle, yeah, it gives you that full effect straight away. You get it, yeah. Little so, virgin veins, look. Shit, four fucking years, right? Do you hate it? And I hate the fucking. I hate it with a passion. So we all do. But you know, it. fucking. Once you got this far, you can't fucking stop mm. unless you got help. Why did I start? I don't know, I suppose it's just another. It's just another drug, really. If you know what I mean, that's what us youngsters do, I suppose, with no, experiment and stuff like that. I started off just to, uh, you know, take my mind away from it. I was working all the time. I was a chef, 
and she expects me to do 13 hours a day. I couldn't do it. I'd done that for six months. My body was wrecked. And you know, I couldn't cope with it. And this was just like, it's just like a magical potion, you know? I'm just fucking one in them and I'm fine. You go out, you take pills, you have a bit of Charlie, like have a puff and that, get pissed out of your head and stuff like that, then you might have a bit of gear, do you know what I mean? But how, how do you get on to jacking it up? I don't know. I personally, like, tried it and liked it, got on it, I suppose, and then it got to a stage where it was like... Most people get on to it because... See, I've always had, like been thrown out and stuff like this, fucking the old man's going off his head and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Mm. You sometimes you go to heroin just to blank everything, take all the fucking, all the stress away and that. The most ultimate painkiller. I, I got thrown out when I was 15 and I've lived on the street mm. since then. And um, not about a matter of about three months ago, I got back with my parents. They finally let me come home. And then, um, they threw me out again. I lasted about three days. Why is that? Because my dad, he's just, he's just an arsehole. I mean, I'm not using it as an excuse, but all the shouting over the years, all the, all the, like, seeing your mum getting a slap in the corner yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, it's not done us no favours at all, do you know what I mean? All it's done is fucked our heads up. Now when you've got fucked her head up and you keep getting thrown out and you get to learn to live on the streets like, and then the next week, oh, your dad lets you home, a couple of days later he throws you back out, do you know what I mean? That's nowhere to fucking live. You try and get a job, but you can't get a job because your dad's thrown you out again, so you've got no address and stuff like that. It just all gets thrown back in your face all the time. Even when you do try, like, do you know what I mean? There's always... So heroin was the answer? Heroin's not the answer, no, but heroin does. Heroin. heroin helps you by taking the thoughts away, by taking the pain away. But that's only but for at a limited same, amount of time. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it for only for a limited amount of time. But at the same time, it makes things worse. Because then you've got to go out thieving because you've got to support a habit. That's why I got off it. So you're off, but you're not really off it, you're doing it. You're still doing it. Oh, yeah, I take heroin. Yeah, I've not no. got a habit. Yeah, I'm not, not addicted to it. That's what people, you've never been on heroin, so you wouldn't know, do you know what I mean? When you, when you take heroin, relatively clean if you take heroin, it's just the thing where you get out of your head on. But if you're addicted to heroin, it's like having a fag. No, I bought some shoes. Yeah? Yeah, £110 they were. Wow. But yeah, right, my parents, they basically said that to come home will make a better life for you. So as soon as you've lived on this street for the last three years. And uh, basically, they said, you get a good job, you got to get suited and booted. So I went out and bought some shoes. Right. Patrick Cox, 110 pounds. And mowed out all day in my flat. All day, I was out busking, back, board, back up, and people didn't even move. I know. They hadn't even changed position, presence of the ashtray. And as soon as I walk in, oh, Chris, you haven't got a burn, have you? What have they been doing all day? Monged. I'm not having it. Call him Mong in the park. Huh? All right, eh? It's more than yours. What's that? What? What? Uh, 2.4. You know what? I've just been for that. What about the fucking trolley station, man? I know, I don't fucking need something. So what are you going to do with that one? Pass that one around? No, this is mine and his, isn't it? That's yours and his. That's what fair, mate. This fucking shit yeah, out just fucking split a, a, a point out in half for you two. I've done the same with that one. You, I've just bought a point eight. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Are you passing that one around between something? Me, me and Wes are having yeah. that, and you two are having that. That's yeah. what I said. What's on this? I don't know what the fuck. I think that's coronation chicken. What's your name? Where you come from? Jay. I'm from mine. Come on, we'll have to order you up then. Come on. Come on then.
Every day, seven days a week, there's somebody that gives out free food. It's usually um, Salvation Army or the Oxfam or it's all different different people that do it in there. Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart, St Peter's, this is St Peter's. But the Salvation Army did this one, didn't they? Yeah. This is the Salvation Army. You can get clothes as well. Socks, clothes. Um, you can get clothes off them, you Hot tea. You can get clothes off them. You know? What kind of clothes? Some. Every week. Honey, go honey. Food. What is that? Bread, sausage, mash, and beans. Soup. Grab that one. Watch it, it's hot. It's hot. So. Oh, it's sausages tonight, man, and beans. Free sausages. Is that, is that Chris's, Rami? I don't know. Chris's. Yeah. Oh, and there's free sausages. Mmm, free sausages. Good, you know. Fresh. So, you know, I know we don't starve, that's the main thing, you know what I mean? You know, we've got, we got, we got a uh, any, there. Anyone that was homeless come up to you and said, oh, I need money for food. You, you see know? these people that are in the street and all that, and they say that, that they have a net for days and all that, that's bollocks. This is bollocks. I know what they usually do is fucking, the, the, them fucking, you know what I mean? They're fucking getting money for other stuff out there. Do you yeah, know what I mean? That's it. Because they know that. They, what that what money they're begging for ain't going on no food because they've got they know for a fact they're going to get their food later on when they get to the soup run. They don't have to buy fuck all clothes because they can either go to the night shelter or get it from here. You can get sleeping bags, socks, pants, a lot, you know. All their money they pumps and beg and do whatever. It's all just for their own amusement. Do you know what I mean? And that could be drugs or drink or whatever. You know, so that's how it works out, basically. They get their food for free and clothes for free. I've never ever been in this particular in my life, you know what I mean? The only reason I'm doing this at the moment is I explained myself to you earlier. I've done a bit of video for that. I know they could force the payment for the one day. I come to the set because it was for two days. The room was only going out for two days here, but there's blood in here, so give me the 16th band. I don't know why you're in the rest. But down the line, you know what I mean? I couldn't fucking last day. I didn't have the money to pay him, so he's got to leave, leave your clothes. Go and get the money here, and I'll give you your clothes back. Well, I ain't had the money. Well, I've had the money, but I've spent some drugs, you know, obviously, you know what I mean? But I'm waiting to get a little fucking, I'm waiting for the show, and also Lance, the super show, and Lance, we're going to be going, you know what I mean, for the song, but I'm going to have that day. I mean, if I do, he's on for that, it's not any lot, man, I'm a clear person, you know what I mean, I've been watching, man, okay, you know, I ain't like that. So, I'm going to check it out tonight, thank you. Alright, we'll see you later, man. Fucking later, huh? I'll just give you fucking two, man. Yeah, dude, you got some two, I'm going to snap, look at you, son. Got. Yeah. Right, nothing left by the time I've got there. Not with me around. It's right, it's Who's got a fag? It's like I've got some um, trainers for Chris, look. Size 10, isn't he? Size 10. For Chris. Alright, now. I've got a jump. Same as what, what do you call it? You know that fucking. Juno. Juno. Yeah. Machine. Yeah. 
Hey, Tanya, it's Joe Mercy, she's a prostitute. She's That's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why, Tanya? Is it only joking, you know? Oh, Tanya, I was joking, you know. You are a prostitute, tell the truth. She can't be a prostitute. She is, she's a prostitute, man. Who's wearing a That's a nice thing, mate. It's all right fucking about, isn't it, that? And I've got that. A jacket. It's all right, isn't it, that, mate? Isn't it? Do you reckon? Yeah. That's, that's pretty sweet. Pretty cool, isn't it, there? Surfing on the beach. Got a jacket, mate. Let's have a look. That's it. That's right now, isn't it? Let's have a look at your jacket. Right. Boom. And it's Chris is according to the in the kitchen for us, boys. Yeah, I've got two breads, sausage, oh, mash and beans. And oh, these are even better, these are. Look at these, man. Them? Yeah, yeah, they're right. Are you going to wear them tomorrow to the police station? What, these? Yeah. Do you want me to? Well, what do you, what, what do you think? What do you reckon? That's right. Nice. How about you wear a suit tomorrow to the police station? No, like suit? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm coming out. You know I'm getting locked I'm up. I'm going there. No, no. <laughs> and I want you to have a munch in there. Bring some of the girls, because you're, you know, you're tired. <sighs> Just what happened to the telly, man? Who's touched the telly? She has a magnificent hole up there. Oh, what? The television has been moved. Anybody got any burns? You can never, ever get any burns. I'm going to get some, Yeah, you never get some. Such a lovely boy, Aid, so modest with such an array of talent. An absolutely top player. I would say the best number seven in Europe with respect to Benny. When I was a kid, I had a lot of shack, and like my mum and dad got divorced, I got raped by two of my best mates. I used to go fishing and that with them. When I was younger, lad, and uh, I thought everything was great, good, you know what I mean? Because I used to enjoy the fishing and that, and you know, good mates and that. And but I didn't know there was what they was doing. They was preying on me, I suppose, uh, because it started like fucking wanking and stuff like that. And I was, start, I was only young. I was only 11, 12. And I started doing it. I enjoyed it, you know what I mean? I thought it was fun. Do you know what I mean? But then it started touching me, and I didn't like that, like you know what I mean? But I didn't understand what was going on. The next time it happened, we was down a canal where we used to go fishing, and uh, they just changed. They just changed. There was, they went. There was, there was evil, horrible. Shit, me really scared me. Um, and they grabbed me up the wall and pulled my trousers down and forced themselves up me, both of them. Well, that's why I take drugs. Because this is the, it's the only thing that. It's like um, it blanks it all out for me, you know. This is my this is my security blanket. If I ain't got heroin, I'm just fucking, you know. I just can't go. My dad, yeah, mm. he threw me out for for about a hundredth time, yeah, this week or this fucking century, whatever. And he and he said to me, he, he said, wait, he picked me up, threw me out of bed. He said, he said. I hope you fucking die today. Go and get yourself as much money as possible. Get as much drugs as you can, and I hope you die. Hopefully you'll know D, and that'll be the finish of that. That's what he said to me. Fucking right, he meant it. He hates me. He hates the life out of me. I've not done a thing for him. I was on my knees like that. Please, Dad, fucking give me some sort of a chance. Do you know what I mean? How many times have I tried? Nothing. Out the door he goes. Do you know what I mean? That was this morning. That was this morning. Did you stay there last night? Yeah. So I robbed him and I got him up some gear. She took away my freedom and you take the very essence from my life. I'm not an addict now, no. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a life sentence. Addiction. I mean, I can't. 
I can't really go away for the day because I'm away from my source of drug. I go to Swanage for the day, I have to make sure I take a big heap of paraphernalia with me. <laughs> That's like a ball and chain. The hardest part is building a new life. You know, because you've got yourself into such a stage where everything you do is either finding your money to get your gear or taking your gear. Money, how do we? Money, how do we? That's a bunny, that's as far as it goes at the end of the day. Look at this. Christy. Mates on the bikes. Ha, 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 ha.